The update has just come out, so we have Help the Baroness. Uh, so I think there is a quest line. The quest begins with a text from Linda to, 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 to participate in this quest. You must be a star ride and have completed these three quests. You guys can see them right there. We actually have some before and after images. I'm not going to dwell too long on them. I only want to see them in the game. And the uh, Arabians, Lusitanos, and English Thoroughbreds can now wear all existing tack except the Mawari Bridal and Arabian Show Holder kind of obvious reasons you know more worry bridal i don't know <laughs> This is, also, this is also the last chance to buy the Generation 1.5 Aquatech and Appaloosa horses. I do have a video uh, buying all of those horses if you want to check it out. And next week we are getting the Equestrian Festival, but my game is 45% update, 46%. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, new thingamajiggy. Okay, that's pretty. Text message from Linda. It's been so long since I've gotten a text message. Okay. You won't believe what the Baroness is up to. I kind of want to get on a thoroughbred. I hope the text stays there until I click it away. We'll see. Otherwise, I think you just have to re-log, but yeah. Kind of want to get the uh, thoroughbred in some new attire. Purely the thoroughbred because thoroughbreds are like known for racing. I know it's a stereotype. I'm sorry, but... Apple cake is my only not level 15 quarter, I mean, quarter horses on the mind. Thoroughbred, so we have to write apple cake, but that's fine. I like apple cake. I think he has a nickname. I'm not sure. I know this is like racing or show jumping or whatever, but like, let me have my fun with whatever bridal I feel like putting on. These ones look so good on you. Oh my gosh. Star Stable, if you are seeing this, please fix the teddy bears. Just drag them back ever so slightly. I want to use my teddy bears, please. Okay, outfit is fine. It's okay. It's It'll work. It's very... I just don't think the style of the tag matches what I, my character is wearing. But you know what? It's fine. It's, it's fine. Let's go ahead and click on the text now. The text is gone. Why did the text disappear? I clicked on it and it disappeared. Help. Okay. SMS golden fields. Where's the golden fields? I can't see it. I cannot see it. I can't see it. <laughs> this is totally my fault. I don't know what I've done wrong. I've just broken it. Okay, the text message is back. It worked. Okay, maybe it was because I was in my home staple. I think that's what happened. It's me, Linda. You have to come here. I need you for moral support. I'll explain more in person. Ride to Silverglade Manor. Ride. Bold of you to assume that I won't take my hot air balloon. <laughs> Sorry, that was weird. Linda. Linda, I'm here. I almost called you Loretta. Oh my gosh, we're about to see. Okay, so the person here is not updated. She looks really pretty. I actually really like this update. I think she looks amazing. I love how they've kept the little green pendant and the eyeshadow. I love that. I actually really love the new Baroness. I think she looks really good. She looks rather fancy. She's slay, slay queen. <laughs> Help. Okay, it's, it's them 8 p.m. crazy times. Linda, Linda, let me talk to you. Linda. Thank Aideen you're here. Just in time for the madness to begin. The Baroness is at it again. No, she's not locking anyone <laughs> in Silverglade Castle. That was all a misunderstanding. We're good now. It's something even worse. Just listen. She'll tell you soon enough. Eee, look at her. And the mouth moves and everything. <gasps> that little hand movement, that's everything. It's the little things. I'm telling you guys, it's the little things in life. I also love how like 3D her pearls are and the color is literally so good okay linda you've brought along a companion splendid oh sorry i just hit moira <laughs> i'm too animated with my hands you are very welcome cassandra i have the most wonderful news to share i'm sorry i should put on like more with you and with all of the all of the Yorvik, yes, I can definitely read. After much anticipation, I'm announcing my annual awareness campaign for my unfinished racetrack. I do so hope the community community can gather together to help complete the track once and for all. Of course, I could call in GED, but you know what kind of job they'd make of it. No, these things are in much better hands with the good-hearted citizens of the island, I think. How many years have you been campaigning for this now? Why, that would be ten and counting, Linda. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And with each year, the public interest grows stronger. I tell you. Okay. <laughs> oh gosh, he's looking kind of crusty. <laughs> Why does he look like that? What do we have? Oh, what? 
I can't do the- I'm- What do we have planned this year, ma'am? I do so enjoy our yearly ventures around the island. Well, Godfrey, this year I thought we ought to take our endeavours to the capital. Yes, we shall go to Yorvik City and speak to the fine folk there about the completion of the racetrack. It is so important. I missed a word about why. About why the completion. Yorvik City, yeah, because they really care about horses there. Did you say something, Linda? You'll have to speak up. My hearing isn't what it used to be. Oh, nothing. I'm just looking forward to see what you have in store. <laughs> Indeed. Well, it's about time we leave for your big city now. Godfrey, shall we prepare to depart? Yes, ma'am. I'll get the automobile ready. Automobile? That was weird. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Linda, Cassandra, feel free to join us. It will be wonderful to have you both there. Can we get a ride? The Fort Pinder bus stop is pretty far away. Yeah, we need to put one in Silverglade somewhere. Wait, someone told me there was a bus stop in Silverglade. Am I living under... Am I living under a bus? <laughs> Sorry. Oh gosh, these update videos are always so crazy in my brain. And then I'm editing it and I'm like, girl, chill. Anyway. Uh, I'm afraid there's not enough space. Farewell, Godfrey. Hmm, typical. I've been trying to convince Godfrey to give us a ride for ages. Well, I guess I'm hoofing it to Yorvik City by bus. At least it gives us enough time to mentally prepare for the aftermath of another failed attempt to build, to build the racetrack. Why did I say it like that? What do you say, Cassandra? Want to join me for the adventure? Anything for the horses if you insist. I love adventure. I love adventure! This isn't like our regular kind of escapade, but I'm sure we'll make the most of it. This is fun. This is very fun. You can ride down to the bus stop or take the trailer to Fort Pinter to save some time. The choice is yours. I'll meet you at your big city. Meteor and I need to have a little chat about what snacks I should buy him first. Okay. Your big city, here we come. We're going to Governor's Fall. The Baroness is holding her campaign at South the <gasps> Prima Donna. Prima Donna. Sorry. Lounge across the street from Leonardo's. Let's go. Looks like they're leaving soon. Are we going inside a place? Going inside my places are like the favorite. You know when kitchens came out in Star Stable? And when we got our first like apart, like apart, like not apartment, but like the places with a bed and a lounge, even though they look kind of bad, like kind of good. You know what I miss? Yorvik Fashion Week. I feel like we haven't done a Yorvik Fashion Week. Why they, why did we not get a Yorvik Fashion Week? Hello? I have to walk down the aisle, the aisle, the, What's it called? Gangway? No. What's it called? I can't remember what it's called. What is it called? Runway! Runway. Runway? You know what? It doesn't matter. Cross from Leonardo. Oh, over here with all the people. Okay. Oh, I think it's outside. Damn it. I wanted to go like inside somewhere. This is just a shop, isn't it? Yeah, it's a saloon. A salon. What hair do we have here? Why do I kind of like? <laughs> Why do I kind of like this hair right now? Well, here we are, and there's the Baroness. But where are all the people? Greetings, people of Yorvik City. I am Baroness Annabelle Silverglade of the Silverglade family, and today I bring you a proposal. Let's see what's gonna happen. For hundreds of years, the Silverglade family has been the modicum of dignity and respect across all of Yorvik. My family helped shape the equestrian traditions of the island into what it is today. From funding stables and stalls nationwide to ensuring a promising future for young riders with the Silverglade Riders Foundation. My family has always sought ways to connect and give back to the community that has taken care of us so well. That is why I'm standing here today speaking to each other and every one of you. Yes, you and you too. This year it is my mission to rebuild the derelict, the derelict, I can't read, racetrack that sits on my family's ancestral grounds. And in the themes of community effort and spirit, I look to you, the people of Yorvik, to help me with this project. I don't know if she'd do quite all the hand gestures that I'm doing. We require blueprints for a brand new layout and the people and horsepower to set up the necessary equipment for the course. There will also be a need for decorations and the finishing touches with a splash of greenery. Rest assured, there will be many ways to get involved. Look, city people might not be horse people, like, stereotypically, Linda said it, not me, but I feel like everyone can get behind a good, like, horse race, you know? Like in Australia, there's the Melbourne Cup. Melbourne's not known for, you know, horses, horse riding, I suppose, but like everyone goes to the Melbourne Cup, you know? 
I don't know. Now, what do you all say? Shall we unite and bring the glory of a distinguished racetrack to Jorvik once and for all? <laughs> oh my god, that dog's so cute. Anyone? My right hand man, Godfrey, stands to my side with a sign up sheet for interested parties. A raise of hands would be appreciated. I'll help, mother. I can find a day or two off of civic duties, I suppose. Hmm, it's Prince Charming's birthday tomorrow, but I guess we can cut it short. Would you look at that? Delightful. I think you'll need more than that, ma'am. Would you like a hand down? Perhaps we should try approaching the public. I didn't ask for your comments, Godfrey, and I don't need help getting off this darn thing. I didn't ride horses for half a century to have someone help me off a milk crate. Now, if I could just get it back into my purse. However, yes, I think it's about time we made an exit. The crate? In your purse? But that's impossible. How will it fit? Anything is impossible. Even the impossible. Now close your mouth, please, Linda. We are not codfish. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. What would city dwellers care for an old lady's dilapidated racetrack? Don't worry, mother. There's always next year. Next year, next year. I don't know how much longer these old bones have left. Now that's kind of sad. That's kind of depressing. Um, the Baroness can't die? What? Come now, Godfrey. Let us take our leave before I tarnish the Silverglade reputation any further. Oh no. That was awkward to say the least. I know that most of your Vic City residents aren't so interested in horses, but not one passerby stopped to listen. I don't think that's how you spell passerby, but that's fine. I feel bad for the Baroness. Every year she tries to get interest from the people of your Vic to help rebuild her racetrack, but nobody seems interested. Is this the way like we step up, you know, where you usually need like a team of people and our legendary character is just like, I'll do it all myself. Or maybe we're gonna get the builder guy, Ronald the Builder, that's not his name, Donald the Builder? My heart's in the right place, but I think as each year passes by, she finds it harder and harder to connect with the people of the island. I even tried setting it up with your tube chat oh, with a YouTube channel once. That actually kinda works, YouTube, YouTube, because the J's are Y, because Sweden. But she got stuck arguing with people in the comments of history videos. <sighs> Wait, that gives me an idea. Cassandra, you're always around, riding around the island speaking to people, aren't you? You must have made quite a few friends by now. I thought they were going to say, oh my gosh, we should upload a video to your tube asking for help. But you know, that's fine. I can just ride around. Let's take matters into our own hands. Who should we reach out to for help? Ask you just for help. He's good at building things. Is he though? He got asked to find that tent thing and then he... Approach people around Jorvik to raise awareness. Let's ask GED to build the racetrack. Okay, not trusting GED. The Baroness said she didn't want GED. <sighs> ask people around Jorvik to raise awareness. I feel like everyone would know. Fine, I'll ask Yidris for help. Can you imagine the disastrous spectacle? Oh no, we have to think again. Well, sorry, approach people. Fine, okay. I just didn't want to ride around Jorvik. There, I'll say it. I didn't want to ride all around Jorvik. <laughs> yes, that's it. Let's offer to reach out to the people around Jorvik individually and encourage them to help build this racetrack once and for all. If we explain how much this means to the Baroness and Jorvik, people are sure to understand. It's settled. I have to get a drink of water. It, there's a lot of talking. Lots of talking. I'm going to hang out in the city for a while. Might hit up the purple pony. Feel free to join me. Otherwise, let's meet back at Silverglade Manor and tell the Baroness about our plan. I'll send you a text to remind you now. Meet me at Silverglade Manor when you're ready. I actually like how they kind of split it up so that you could like leave the quest for a little bit. I actually really like that. Nice thing. Nice thing, Star Stable. Oh, do you remember the days of the good old bus pass? Did you have a good time at Jorvik City? I picked up the latest book release, a Beatrix Rider and that mud lurkers are piebald. How fun would it be to actually be able to like read books in Star Stable? Did any of you guys ever read, ever play Horses Secrets of the Ranch? I made like two episodes on my channel. I kind of want to go back to it. It is a very fun game. I do enjoy that game. But you could like read about horses in the game and I just feel like, you know, it's, it's, it was just kind of fun. I don't know. <laughs> this time Beatrix's is adventures take her to London. Will she... I really want to visit the UK. I'm going to be honest. My sister wants to visit the UK as well. We should go together. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Will she be able to save the street urchin's horse from the meat hook of the dreaded knacker? Who knows? Okay. <laughs> Let's tell the Baroness about our idea. She's not the easiest person to convince, but don't worry, I can take the lead. As her assistant, I have experience trying to convince her about things. 
another year that I have to lay my eyes upon that unsightly shamble of a racetrack. What would my family think of me? The Baroness, Baroness, please, please. I think so highly of you, don't worry. I'm not your family, you know what I mean. Lady Silverglade, could we speak to you for a second? Now, Linda, what did I tell you? Call me Annabelle. Lady Silverglade is my mother. Yes, Annabelle. Cassandra and I have been talking, and we have a suggestion to make. A way to help build this racetrack once and for all. My Linda, that does sound promising, though. Perhaps a little ambitious. Please, go on. What if instead of holding speeches and going on awareness campaigns, we reached out to people around Jorvik individually? That way, we could explain how much this racetrack... This racetrack means to the island. I can take charge of the organization and stuff. I've struggled writing for the Yorvik... I've juggled writing for the Yorvik Gazette, keeping on top of my studies and writing after school with media. Okay, no need to flex, especially since I just went down from full-time university. I'm now only doing one subject part-time. I wanted to do two, but I couldn't. It'll be coming out in a Training Rambles podcast episode very soon. I couldn't handle it all. I'm sorry. My motto for this year is slow. I'm young. I have time. Anyways, it'll all be in the ram- in the Rambles episode. Ah, uh, Cassandra practically knows everyone on Jorvik, so they've totally got the social aspect covered. Goodness, I'm not quite sure how to react. It's clear to me that you've both thought deeply about this. I love this idea. I'd be more than happy to support you as you go on forth on this. You mean it? It was that easy? Great. It's settled then. The two of you seem perfectly capable of handling this project, and I am here to oversee and help in any way I can. Thank you both. This is a weight lifted off my shoulders. You're welcome, Miss Baroness. Did we really just convince the Baroness to let us lead the project? Pinch me, I'm dreaming. Let's go, let's get to asking people. It takes a village. The racetrack means a lot to the people of the nearby town, so Silverglade Village is a good place to reach out to folks. And also, we just need a few more people. Moorland Stables is usually pretty packed. If you ride there and ask around, we might find people who'd like to help out. Big. Okay, let's ride over to Moorland. I mean, Silverglade Village. That's that's what I said. Man, I forgot how much I love the Thoroughbreds. Gosh, such a good horse breed. Such a good horse breed. I'm about to jump off a cliff. All right, so it's like nighttime in Star Stable, right? Imagine someone coming up to you at nighttime and being like... Hey, support us. I don't know, that just seems funny in my brain. Huzzah, you're just in time. Mel and I were about to perform a retelling of Metamorphosis, where the lead character turns into a horse instead of a bug. Very fitting for Jorvik, right? Uh, Talia, I don't think they've stopped by to see our street show. Is this something you need help with? We're running a pretty tight schedule, but we have time to glance over story pictures under 500 words. <gasps> Could it be? The Baroness is bringing her racetrack to its former glory? Or perhaps first time glory, considering it's always been the way it is. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Mel Pom- You never call me Mel Pom- <laughs> You really must- you really must really be excited. Really must really be excited. I'm gonna start saying that from now on. You really must be- You really must really be excited. <laughs> but yes, to answer your question, of course I know what you're thinking. Let's snazz up this racetrack. We'll see you there in a bit. We need to grab some supplies first. How cool would it be if there was a stage there and they could perform there? Like, thoughts? Thoughts? Mm, is that Jasper? No, that's not Jasper. It's Bjorn! I'm so dumb, okay. Whoa, hey, whoa, be careful. These gardens are highly manicured. You can't go stomping and storming around here like that. What brings you here anyways? I could ask you the same question. Agnetha, it's Cassandra. They helped us create our beautiful gardens. Don't you remember? It's great to see you again. Yes, yes, anyway. Word travels fast here in Jorvik. We've heard word that the Baroness is looking to complete her racetrack. Well, with our gardening expertise, it only makes sense that we lead the project. Let's start. Your first task is, Agnetha, darling, maybe they already have a project leader. Could it be Linda, the Baroness's assistant? I saw her walking around the grounds earlier, laptop in one hand and piles bo of books in the other. It looked like she was on a mission. We'd be more than happy to bring our groundskeeping skills and beautify that unsightly racetrack. Oh, I'm so excited. I think I might faint. Oh, no, not again. No, no. Oh, he didn't faint. I know I said no, but I kind of wanted him to fall over again. I'm going to be honest. Oh, well, it's fine. <laughs> this is actually really exciting, you guys. I'm this make this is making me happy. This is the funnest Star Stable quest I've done in a long time. <laughs> I'm just excited by the small things. Oh, gosh, I couldn't find him. He was back here. Found you. Hugh, isn't he from like rescue ranch? 
You look like someone who has about 10 different places to be. If you're hoping to speak to the veterinarian, you're out of luck. She's swamped with work today. She doesn't even have the chance to speak to me. And I'm her oldest friend. This wouldn't have anything to do with the word going around, would it? About gathering forces to help build the Baroness racetrack once and for all. Sounds like quite the job, but I'm willing to help in any way I can. Horse safety is of utmost importance. I'd love to be there to keep watch over the horses and humans. I'm sure I could help carry a thing or two into place too. I've got some stuff to finish up first. I promised Madison I'd join her for the final boss battle in her... Gemo? Gemo? Gemo game? There's only one controller, but it involves a lot of button mashing, mashing so it's more of a job for four hands. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's kind of funny. Okay, next up is Moorland. Is there smoke coming out of those holes? I don't think there's meant to be smoke coming out of those holes. I'm gonna be honest. Unless them chipmunks have got themselves a nice roast going up in there, you know? Roasted on the campfire. <laughs> Oh gosh, what am I saying? Conrad! Buddy John Friend, this is my favorite NPC in the game. Purely because Conrad Marsden, and then there's John Marsden who wrote one of my favorite book series as a kid, or as a young teenager. And then there's John Marsden from Red Dead Redemption. Baroness Racetrack, I'm so bogged down with horseshoe orders that I can't be a horse rides away from my hammer and anvil. Oh, Conrad, that's okay, I understand. What? horse is that? That Aquatex got- the Aquatex got his tail dip tied! Have I never- I've never seen that before. I've- or I've just never noticed it. This horse is really pretty. Okay. So am I going to Justin? Maybe I'm going to- what's his other one? Thomas? I can't help with the racetrack, sorry. I promised Herman over in your Vic stables that I'd help him with preparing for an upcoming festival. And now I'm drowning in papers. Literally. I'm making paper chains to decorate the stables. Oh, I love that. I wonder if that's referencing the equestrian festival next week, even though this quest isn't just for this week. But I reckon that, like, the quest line works either way. And now we have one more person. Loretta? I think it is Loretta. Whatever it is you need help with, we can't. The Bobcats are preparing for the Bute Bu Bovista Stables dressage competition and they need me as their leader. So yeah, what are you still doing here? So, Moorland was a bust. Actually, wait, no, there's one more person. <laughs> I saw this person the other day. Look at the cool cowboy hat or cowgo hat. The cool western hat. That's such a pretty color. I want it. Can I buy it? I don't even know. Looks like you're down on your luck. Everyone's busy here these days. Have you tried Josh from Starshine Ranch? He's come to visit us today. He should be in the area if you look around. Oh, thank you. Okay, my headphones are like hurting. Well, not hurting. It's just making my ear itchy. Not ideal. Okay, how did I not notice Justin before? I mean, Josh. <laughs> names. Howdy do. You've caught me just in time. I was about to head back to the ranch and help Mr. Peterson wrangle the donkeys. It's time for their yearly bath. But I'll take any excuse to get out of it. What's up? The Baroness is building her racetrack? Well, I'll be darned. I sooner expected Northlink to open up than that old track to ever be finished. That's kind of funny. That was funny. I know well enough how hard it can be to raise something from nothing. Starship ranch used to be nothing but grass and tumbleweeds you know of course i can help out that's what your vic is all about right community i'm just one person though i'll reach out to some of my pals around here and convince them to join it's by that big manor up on the hill right we'll be there see you on the flip side partner thanks josh so i'm thinking we go where's the quest log j nope i think we have to go back to linda that person had an amazing outfit on. The one in orange, love it. The leg wraps, everything. Did you manage to convince everyone to join? Great. You must have worked a miracle, Cassandra. So many people are gathering already. Everyone we invited has arrived. That means it's time to announce the game plan. We've got this, Cassandra. I'll meet you down by the racetrack. Let's go. Oh, there's a fence there. Never mind. We're not going quite yet. <laughs> oh, I cannot get over the new landscape around here. It looks amazing. I really love it. Like, wow. Oh, and there's finally like a path which matches up the bridge to here. Oh, that means everything to- oh. Hi everyone! Wow, this is quite crowded. First off, thank you all for coming. This means a lot, not only to the Baroness, but to everyone on Jorvik. As you all know, the Baroness racetrack has been left in this state for quite some time. Of course, we can ride around it now, but how awesome would it be if we all banded together and made it even more awesome? With a little bit of effort and a lot of teamwork, I'm certain we can make this racetrack into something we can all be proud of. Now, who's with me? Woohoo! 
Let's do it. Great, let's rest up today and get ready for the big day tomorrow. Everyone, let's meet here early tomorrow morning. <gasps> Is it a timed quest? Well, that went better than I ever expected. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Feel free to swing by whenever you feel like it. <gasps> it's a timed quest. Never fear. Where's the closest sleepy sleep? I need to sleepy sleep. Thank you.